hey guys welcome back to my channel how are we happy saturday even though it mightn't be a saturday then when you watch this but for me it's a saturday and it could be a saturday today we're going to do a glow up because i'm going for a family dinner it is my dad's birthday and i want to look glam i got my hair straightened this morning because i washed my hair last night and it dried naturally it just wasn't a vibe. So I'm just basically going to be like chatting while I'm doing my makeup. Um, I've already washed my face and everything. So I'm going to start with a primer. I'm just going to use the Cher Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish as a primer. How are we all? How is life? How's your week going? Lads, are we excited for Christmas? <laughs> Halloween's next Friday. Like I feel like I'm allowed to talk about Christmas now. This time of year is my favorite time of year like you have no idea like i am an autumn winter gal there is nothing i like better than autumn winter it just it's my vibe like honestly i'm so sorry sweetie i'm just an autumn winter gal like that's i feel like that's when i thrive in life to be honest am i thriving right now who knows the christmas playlist will be playing next saturday this time next week we're going to be dancing to so many Christmas tunes. What's your favourite Christmas song? My favourite, I think one of my favourites is Last Christmas. And then Baby Please Come Home is another one. I like um, All I Want For Christmas Is You. But like, Oh, The Pogues, Fairy Tale New York. Probably my favourite Christmas song. Because I just think it's um, a classic. It's an absolute classic. I'm going for a glam vibe today like I want to look glam I haven't decided what lashes I'm gonna use I don't know am I gonna use those new kiss ones I was sent or will I use my lily lashes I'm not sure I'm really not sure but once my makeup is glam I feel like you know once your makeup is glam you're like halfway there so for foundation I'm using the Chateaurie Airbrush Flawless Foundation because I'm genuinely obsessed with it it's just everything i thought it would be and more like i have no problems with it i have no like i have nothing that i think would make it better i think the longer you have it on like it wears really nice on the skin it doesn't look amazing when you put it on and then a few hours later it kind of looks weird like i think it would be an amazing bridal foundation to be honest i need to get it in more shades though because at the moment i only have it in the shade four neutral just the shade I was sent because I got it in pure. Am I still not able by the fact that I'm on the Cher Tilbury pure list? Absolutely not. I still can't cope. I've got two packages now so far and I've screamed both times. Audibly screamed. So that's great. That's that for me. She's getting noticed. She's getting recognised. Today is Saturday. What have I done all day? I went to the gym. I've been on my gym buzz again, lads. I'm back in my bullshit. I actually am this time. Like, I'm actually back in my bullshit. I'm actually back in my gym vibe and i absolutely love it i love my gym because the music is always on point and to be honest that's a big thing for me like i need good vibes good energy when i go into a gym i can't be listening to like weird playlists or like not that i i bring my headphones anyway but you know i just think a vibe of a gym is very important maybe that's just me but i really do think that your vibe attracts your tribe. <laughs> Ignore me. Yeah, no, the vibe of the arena is just, it's goals. Gym vibe goals. I'm using two concealers today. So I'm being extra. I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye and I'm mixing that with the Laura Mercier Ultra Long Wear Fusion Concealer. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Because the bye bye under eye is very thick, very concentrated. So I like to dilute it down with another concealer. And also the bye bye under eye is very light concealer. So now if I mix it with a slightly dark one, I feel like I get... I don't know. I just like mixing, okay? Just call me an artist and call it a day. I don't have a beauty blender fresh for the video. And I really could not be arsed getting up and washing one. So... This is no beauty blender, which is weird for me because I'm a beauty blender stan. Like, I just think there's nothing better than a beauty blender. But we're gonna try today and see, like, 
is my obsession with a beauty blender unrealistic? Like, is it all in my head? Or is there like a reason that I'm obsessed? So basically what I'm gonna get for dinner is, if anyone cares, I'm getting the ciabatta with goat's cheese to start. And then for mains, I think I'm gonna get a chicken Kiev. It was between that and a burger, but I don't think I'm in a burger mood. Like, a burger is very filling and I don't know, am I that hungry? I'm really going hard with the blending today just because I don't have my beauty blender, so I feel like I need to compensate. There's nothing in this world I hate more than unblended, unblended, is that the word? Like, streaky. I want my foundation to look like skin, basically. I'm sure you've heard me say that 700 million times, but it's true. I'm contouring my nose now with my Too Faced concealer because I just want to. <laughs> I just want to make my nose look a little bit more snatched, you know? A little bit more snatched. Basically, you're supposed to draw a, a circle around the tip, apparently. Sure, look, who really knows, you know? What else is happening? Oh my god, how can I not even... The Shane Dawson Jeffree Star palette is launching on Friday. If I don't get it, I will be severely stressed. And I want to have a fast because I want to do a first impression. And I want my video to go viral. And then we're going to get to 500 subscribers. So that's my plan. <laughs> no, I really just want to get the palette anyway. But I want... Like, this is probably the most hyped makeup product of the year like of 2019 like genuinely this is the most like it hasn't even been news for that long but i feel like it's just so highly anticipated a lot of people are going to want it not to be good a lot of people might have very high expectations for it so i'm very intrigued to see like how it's all going to pan out will it be amazing What's the shades gonna be like? I'm definitely gonna get the gloss as well because you all know I'm a glass gal and my Fenty glass bomb is nearly gone anyway. I'm so excited. Also, I did the P. Louise business webinar last night. If you don't know who P. Louise is, number one, shame on you. And number two, she's basically a powerhouse, like a makeup businesswoman powerhouse. And she did a business webinar. It was literally like 20 euro. And I think there was like four hours of footage. Or like four hours of material. And then there was like printouts and PDFs and all that kind of stuff. And I really just have so many ideas. And so many things I want to do. As like the businesswoman that I am. So I did that business webinar last night. So it was a lovely way to spend Friday night. I felt very productive. I feel very motivated. If you don't know, now you know. I'm a makeup artist, like that's my passion. But, you know, I have other ideas and I have other interests and other likes and I really want to kind of put everything together. Like I want my kind of brand, my kind of vibe to be more than just makeup, to really emulate my kind of vibe and my personality. Yeah, so that was very interesting to do last night. And she's having another, it's gonna be another video next Friday night, I think launching or something in the webinar. I still, I think you can still get it. Um, If you can, I will link it down below just for any, I think it's really good for anyone in the beauty industry or for anyone who works in themselves. She was talking about like, say, when you're, when you have a plan or when you want to achieve a goal, right? And if you don't have a plan of how you're gonna achieve that goal, like if you don't have 12 month goals, two year goals, three year goals, five year goals, then like it's like getting in a car and wanting to go somewhere but not knowing how to get there, not having a plan on how you're gonna get there, not saying I wanna get there in two hours, I wanna get there in four hours, it's gonna take me two days to get get there to get me which I found very interesting because yes I have a lot of ideas and a lot of plans but I don't have it like mapped out like that we had a temporary break because my camera battery died and I had a minor um a minor blip how do you turn off your emotions asking for a friend 
how do we get rid do you know when you're feeling emotions and you're like do you know what Rebecca now is not the time for all these emotions to surface like how do you turn them off like I'm not asking for me because I'm absolutely fine but like asking for a friend how do you not think about certain situations multiple times in your head you got a lot more than you bargained for because <laughs> at the start of this video I was fine and I'm still fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, we're just gonna pretend like nothing is happening. Where's my blusher? Where's my blusher? Where's my blusher? If I actually can't find my Milani Luminosa blush right now, I swear to God that will send me over the edge. Like that will send me. I, I'm about to be sent. Someone, someone send me a blush. Where's all my blusher? I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, my Tarot one, and my Milani one. And do you th think... <sighs> now, now my mom's drying her hair with the hair dryer. I mean, Colette, could she have worse timing? We found the blusher, Milani has appeared. I can feel things going uphill. Everything's fine. I'm actually fine. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. No, I'm actually going after today's problem, Rebecca, not today's problem. Do you know how we're going to fix this? With some highlighter and big ass lashes. So we're just going to highlight the shit out of my face to hide the fact that I'm having a breakdown on the inside. How does that sound? Great, brilliant, amazing. Okay, for out of shape, we're not going to do anything too exciting because, um, I couldn't be arsed <laughs> and I kind of want to wear big lashes so I'm like you know big lashes minimal eyeshadow that's my vibe Ooh, do you know what I think me being a Taurus really stands in my way sometimes like I think sometimes I'm too loyal and I'm too I'm too afraid of letting someone else down or like letting someone think that I wasn't loyal to them if anyone's a Taurus I feel like you can relate <gasps> so I'm texting my friend about the situation that's going on and his response this is his latest response he goes Mercury is gonna retrograde soon I wouldn't be <laughs> making any decisions <laughs> that is literally we don't want to make, do you know when Mer Mercury is retrograding, you don't want to make like any big life decisions, I don't think. I think that's like a thing. I just love that response because like that's exactly what I need to hear. Like put off big life decisions Rebecca because you've already put them off already and you already don't know what the fuck you're doing so do you know what you do just put them off even further i got this top and penny today right and when i first put it on i was like ew this is so ugly but on camera, I'm actually kind of vibing with it. Like, I actually... It's giving me different vibes on camera than it did when I put it on. Do you know that kind of way? Um, do you know what I was thinking about earlier? Is, like, what advice would I give to my younger self? And one of the main pieces of advice I would give to my younger self, or I would give to, like, anyone, is stay unproblematic. And what I mean by that is, I'm a very opinionated person, yes, but in recent years I've learned that it is important to be opinionated, but you can be opinionated and unproblematic at the same time, like those two things don't go hand in hand. And if you don't know what problematic means then like google it because I'm not about to hear I'm not out here trying to define a word for you. But basically, if anyone takes anything from this video today, other than the fact that like this girl is emotionally unstable, it would be <laughs> it would be to stay on problematic. I'm wearing lily lashes, I've just decided, in the style. I actually don't know what style these are. These are the free ones I got on my Lily lashes order basically I ordered Lily lashes online because it was like buy one get one free you got these free I was like oh what a great time what a great excuse for me to order the Miami lashes um that Tana Mojo is obsessed with I was like I just need to try them because I've heard so much about these lashes 
didn't I get charged 32 euro customs? The package all together, including shipping, was 40 euro, and then I got 32 euro customs on top of that. So that is um 72 euro for lashes. For two pairs of lashes, may I add? La like five, like two pairs of lashes cost me 72 euro. So I mean, ideal, fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. I actually have loads of lashes at the moment that I want to try. I feel like one of those beauty gurus with a lash drawer, but there's actually two, four, five, six, seven pairs of lashes that are all new in my lash drawer right now. I didn't even have a lash drawer until this week. Like at least, you know, if emotionally, my world might be falling apart and like I might be like at a bit of a crossroads and like but at least I have a lash drawer you know like at least I've that going for me I can't believe Mercury is about to retrograde how did I not know that oh dear lord oh dear lord okay let's just glue on the eyelashes I really need to pee as well so we're going to glue on the eyelashes and hope that my life gets instantly transformed okay what do the, what do we think? What do we think of that lash I just put on? Is it too big? Is this supposed to be a glow up video? And honestly, I'm glowing down. <laughs> like, my face might look better because I have makeup on. But like, I feel like everything else is slightly going downhill right now. But you know what? Like, sometimes when you glow up, you actually don't glow up. Like, sometimes when you glow up, it's like Ariana Grande, you know? The most successful year of her career was the worst year of her life. Did I just compare myself to Ariana Grande right now? Me trying to do my makeup to her literal turmoil. Okay, I like these lashes now. It just it just took a minute to like get them where I wanted them to go, you know? Okay, so I slightly overdrew my lips and I never really do that, but I felt like it might, I don't know what I felt like it might do, but sure, look, I did it anyway, and now we're here. So I'm gonna put on my Fenty gloss to finish, because honestly, no look is complete without Fenty lip gloss. And you can quote me on that. Like, you can literally write that under my tombstone. Now I'm talking about death. Oh my god, how morbid. So I hope you enjoyed this video. God only knows what I'm going to title this. Like, what was this? Like, what? If you did, or if you just want me to feel better, please give this video a big th thumbs up. Like and subscribe if you want to. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But uh, I put up weekly vlogs every Sunday and then other videos when I feel like it. So I will see you in the next video. If you've never been here before, oh, welcome to the family. We're a family now. Okay, Rebecca. I have loads more videos that you can go binge. So, you know, keep watching, keep joining, keep getting my vibe, feeling a bit chaotic. But now I'm going to pretend like I'm absolutely fine because I'm going for a family dinner. I don't want to be the one who ruins it. That can be my brother's job, not me. Bye. See you in the next one.